Hello, I'm Ben, and today I'd like to show you a game that I've been developing in between me doing my voluntary work and job hunting. Um, it's been I've been in development for about three weeks now, and it's written using C++ and DirectX. As you can see, it's 2D, and what the plan is to make it a digging game of sorts. I'm not sure what sort of genre that is but that's the best I can think of at the minute and you play as a little robot and you're essentially just collecting ores and digging out further. The whole game itself has a random cave generation using cellular, cellular automata I think is what it is and it then randomly distributes dirt and ores which are the orange bits at the minute but there will be more later on um, and I've also implemented water and lava at the minute which I'm going to try and find some now tell you what, pause it uh, ah, there's, um, I'll get some of that low stuff as you can see at the minute the camera in work and the water in a minute I've implemented a sort of bit of a flow to it so it will follow flow down and then spread left or right well add right actually until it finds another place down or just keeps on going and that as well as the digging is pretty much it at the minute what I aim to do with the rest of it is to have items in rooms such as this which will upgrade your character and give you better abilities such as digging faster or moving quicker and being more resistant to lava and water because at the minute they do nothing but eventually they will be damaging your robot um, and then having a couple more floors or levels what you can do is pause and if I press space and pause it it will generate an entirely new level which at the minute is 200 by 200 tiles wide and the numbers in the top are the tiles that your mouse is pointing at in case you're wondering um, the game was going to be once you've fallen down the bottom of the screen you then generate a new cave pretty much the same size and it will continue like that um, but I want to do randomly generated planets which will have three um, about five types of ores on so the first few levels will have a certain type and then as you go further down the distribution will change so that the lower down you get the rarer ones but it could be that in a high up floor you get a really expensive, or not expensive, valuable ore and that's just how the planet has been generated and in some of them they might be more cave like so there's more empty spaces and some of them might have very little air pockets at all there could be other I will be adding more ores to it and maybe some traps in the game or not, I don't know. But that's about it for the minute. I, um, If you'd like to have a bit demo of it, well, the bits being played at the minute, I can put a link in somewhere, either on the video or on my channel. And I will hope to give you another update soon. So thank you for watching and I shall see you later.